podcast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as you plan out your day for tomorrow, again, we'll start out with some sunshine. We'll look for a couple clouds out there, and especially near the coast and a little bit closer to New Orleans. We'll get back to the possibility of an isolated shower. That front that pushed through that made it somewhat nicer than really throughout the entire day. Well, that's going to inch its way back towards our viewing area as we head into tomorrow. So here's the story right now. Headline wise, again, that stalled front will bring us the possibility of some rain Thursday and Friday. A little bit drier moving into the weekend. However, storms return and it's possibly because of tropical moisture moving into next week, which means there is that threat for heavy downpours. And then we're tracking three tropical waves out there. It's getting very active now across much of the Caribbean and the Atlantic. So here's that Doppler radar picture. Again, we've got a couple individual thunderstorms out there. Very small. You can see you've got a little bit of an outflow boundary kind of mixing. You can see a couple storms flowing this way. We've got another boundary a little bit further south. And yes, a few individual small pockets out there. Obviously, the majority of the rainfall set a little bit closer to where that current boundary is, but it's going to wobble a little bit. And that's the reason why we'll see a couple of thunderstorms ignite and as you look at your future cast again a little better opportunity heading into tomorrow afternoon but notice most of the rainfall in a patch just around New Orleans and south of there down towards Homa as you see for the next couple of days we're talking 40 percent again that's scattered obviously mainly southeast of us heading into Friday a little bit drier dry come Saturday and then as soon as we step into Monday it all depends on that tropical moisture because we could quickly see our rain chances elevate and then we'll have to turn our concern to maybe that possibility of some heavy rain that could lead to some localized flash flooding but until then 91 out there but feels like 94 and this is the key those winds out of the north northwest now at about 10 miles per hour making it seem again much more comfortable outside. Notice a lot of areas feel like temperatures sit in the upper 80s and lower 90s. How about that versus 100 in Homa, 98 down in Bell Chase. And by the morning around sunrise, look for those feel like temperatures to drop into the lower 70s and eventually climb into the upper 90s by tomorrow afternoon. But again, we've got three waves that we're currently watching. The one in the Caribbean becoming slightly more organized. You can see, still see, again, it's still very loose. It could potentially make its way into the Gulf. Most likely likely models are showing that it's more moisture versus a tropical system, but it could become a tropical depression. We're watching too a little bit further out and most likely becoming our next name storm Laura. That is going to be Invest 98. And as you see here, when you look at the current tracks, it's going a little bit north of Puerto Rico. But as you see here, that chance of development is very high. And then there's a new wave that's expected to move off the coast of Africa. That also has a pretty good chance for development a little bit later down the road. But look at the track models. Again, not every model agrees on possible development. If it does happen, it's going to be somewhere in the Western Caribbean at this point. The other area, Invest 98. And again, models do agree that something's going to develop depression, maybe storm, possible hurricane later down the road. And again, this is the area of concern just a little bit north of Hispaniola. And then after that, it can move. But again, a lot of models are also indicating that the storm kind of falls apart before it even gets close to the states. So 72 out there, mainly clear, nice and comfy. Overall, very calm. A couple more clouds, a spotty storm or two during the afternoon. And as you remember, just with, we have partnered up with iHeartRadio, but here is that seven day picture for you. We're going to go 90 out there with a couple scattered showers throughout the day, mainly southeast. Look for some rain on Friday, a little bit drier on Saturday, and then we'll just have to keep an eye on early next week for the possibility of more rain. And here is that skeeter meter continues to sit 